Hey golfers, my name is Troy Klongerbo. Uh, we're here with another US Golf TV club review, and today we've got the Autopilot A14. I don't know if you'd call it a driver or a three wood, but we'll get into that in a second. It's the Autopilot A14. So if you guys are watching this, you've probably seen the Golf Channel commercials with Aaron Alberholzer talking about this ZRT uh, Autopilot A14, 14 and a half degree driver that's gonna help you guys hit the ball further, hit it higher, and hit it straighter. So we got our hands on one, and we did all the testing, and kind of can give you guys some feedback into what we were able to pull out of this golf club. So the first thing I wanna take note of is just the general setup um, of the Autopilot A14. So the first thing you're gonna notice if you guys uh, order this thing in the mail, it's a short club. It's a very short club. It's, it's, it's akin to probably uh, in length of my three wood, um, maybe a little shorter. And all of that is geared towards allowing golfers to swing the club more consistency and have control. We all know that the shorter the club is, the more control we have. And so they really went for a, uh, a shorter, more, more compact club. As far as technology goes, the main thing that they really focus on in terms of is what they call a ZRT. I think that stands for Zero Rotation Technology. So if you look at the face and you look at the head, you'll see that it actually looks like a, I don't know if you guys can remember about 10 years ago, maybe a little longer than that, they had Nike put out those Sumo drivers. They had the yellow bottom. You'll see Anthony Kim and Tiger Woods and they all used it. It was probably back mid 2000s. But they had one that was the square, the Sumo square. I think Callaway put one out called the ERC as well that was kind of squared off. And this is the same technology. And I think, I think what they're just going for is with that square face, it's, gonna not, it's not gonna allow the toe or the heel to have too much control. And the goal is to kind of just zero out the way in which the face is coming through impact. When I swung it, I didn't notice a ton in terms of stability of the face but I did notice stability in the golf club simply because it was shorter and I felt like I could have a little more control over it. So the main thing you guys are gonna to wanna to know is, is does this replace my driver? Does this replace my three wood? And where does this fit in my bag? Uh, what I would first say is with a deep, it has a deeper face and a little bit of a taller face. I tried hitting a few off the deck and uh, while hitting a driver off the deck is possible, this was still a lot more difficult to hit off of the turf without a tee than my three wood. And I think that has to do with the taller face, deeper face, and it's built to be hit off of a tee. You may not necessarily think it's built to be hit off of a tee because you see the 14 and a half degrees of loft. Think to yourself, oh, this is kind of like a three wood. This is just like my three wood. My three wood's 15 degrees, this is 14 and a half. That's gonna be a three wood club. No, you'll see in a lot of the instruction, they really want you teeing this thing where you know a quarter to a half of the ball is above the crown of the club, just like you would a driver, and swing it like a driver. So, when we tested this thing, we swung it like a driver and we treated it like a driver. And for my golf game personally, the Autopilot A14 would not be a fit because when comparing this to my driver, which I will defend is custom fit. I've got a shaft in there that fits my swing and yada, yada, yada. I was routinely hitting my driver 20, 30, 40 yards further um, than this. So it would not replace my driver. And in terms of versatility, as I said, it didn't really give me the versatility off of the turf that my three wood does. So it would not replace my three wood either. So this would be for someone who is maybe struggling to get the driver that fits their game and they're struggling to hit the ball straight and maybe they hit low shots, they typically peel them off or hit hooks. Having a shorter club with more loft and that low center of gravity is, uh, is I think really gonna help maybe a higher handicap golfer or someone that's looking to hit the ball higher and more consistent. When I was launching this thing, I couldn't believe the first couple of swings, how high that ball was launching. I mean, we had 18, 20, 22 degrees of launch, you know, three swings in a row. And I was like, that's, that's a lot for me. I mean, I wanna be launching that thing a lot lower. I wanna be launching that 14, 15 degrees, which is still high, but um, you know, 22 degrees for me, uh, for a club that's gonna be my driver is, is not a great fit. So in terms of hitting this club and in terms of uh, how this kind of relates to me and we actually had Nick cop out again from behind the camera and hit some shots for us. Uh, one of the things that he observed that after I went ahead and hit it a couple more times, I kind of realized had merit. He said he felt crowded when swinging this club. I said, you know what, that makes actually a lot of sense. I remember doing the research and this club, we don't have anything with us to measure this, but this club has a 60 degree lie angle 
which is actually quite upright. So you're going to be standing, in order to get this thing set the way that you need to get it set, you're going to be standing closer to the golf ball. Anyways, that's what I would say from technology standpoint. I mean, you'll notice with the design, there's not a, not a whole lot going on. They've got a little bit of a, a, a cavity, maybe a insert dig out here on the bottom of the sole. They've got the square, uh, square shape to the head to kind of, you know, ideally stabilize the path, or the, stabilize the direction of the face. Uh, through impact, and they've got a shorter a shorter club here. But in terms of uh, recommending this club, I would say it would really have to be kind of a personal preference type deal based on how you hit your driver, how you hit your three wood, and what you're looking to do with it. But I did notice when doing my review of the club and doing some research and stuff that uh, they do offer a 60 day uh, guarantee, warranty, some sort of a free trial. So if you guys want to just try this thing out, order it and give it a hit, otherwise, yeah, that's all we got to say about the Autopilot A14. So have a great day. If you guys have any questions, feel free to just drop them below in the comment section. Our team kind of scrolls through those uh, you know, almost every day and so we can respond and get you guys questions, answers, yada, yada, yada. And um, before you guys leave, if you guys could subscribe, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. We're posting content on a weekly basis, all golf, golf tips, golf clubs, instruction, everything. So feel free to subscribe. Have a great day.